welcome and thank you for tuning in. Somehow, some way, Liverpool Football Club found a way to put all of its Premier League issues in the rearview mirror to go out in the round of 16 in the Champions League. The Reds took on Red Bull Leipzig technically away from home, even though it was at a neutral venue, and came out on top with a 2-0 victory. So, two away goals for the Reds. They are in the driver's seat before the return leg uh, in March. Who knows where that game will be played? Apparently, Anfield might not be the location for that one. But regardless, I'm sure it'll be behind closed doors. There won't be any fans to support either side, really. It's just going to be two great teams getting after it. Mo Salah opened up the scoring for Liverpool by capitalizing on a Red Bull Leipzig defensive error. Sadio Mane scored a goal in almost identical circumstances. So the Reds punished Leipzig when they made mistakes. You know, the goals were not completely against the run of play, even though they were breakaways. Liverpool was still the better team in this match, and they got a number of crucial performances. For many people, the man of the match was Curtis Jones. Jones bossed the midfield. He made great passes. He took players on. He shielded the ball really well. It was just a very intelligent, brave, and confident performance. I think Jones is pretty much at the level where no game is too big for him. His confidence knows no boundaries, and the Scouser has such a bright future. The same, of course, can be said for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Even after everything he's accomplished, he played really well, as did Andy Robertson. Uh, and so did Jeannie Wijnaldum. You know, Wijnaldum uh, was really the rock for the midfield. His importance has become even more heightened uh, with Jordan Henderson forced to play at center back. So when Jeannie Wijnaldum leaves Liverpool, unfortunately, that is going to just shatter Liverpool's stability in midfield uh, if they don't have the right replacement lined up because Wijnaldum will always be underappreciated in terms of what he means to this side. Today was just another great example. Thiago Alcantara got into his usual fouling ways early on, but after that bad first foul uh, in the opening minute, he delivered a masterclass of his own. So many great passes, uh, just a wonderful piece to add into this side. You know, at times it feels like he's been struggling to fit in, but like I've said so many times before, not everybody can get embedded into a side as seamlessly and as effectively as Diogo Jota. That is the exception, not the rule. So Thiago coming up with a great performance. Roberto Firmino showed signs that he's ready to fully recapture his form. But how about Alison Becker? Becker has been subjected to such a ridiculous level of abuse just because he had uh, two consecutive poor games. Make no mistake, still a world-class keeper. He saved Liverpool's tail uh, on at least a couple of occasions today. His one-on-one -on -one shot-stopping skills are truly extraordinary. I love how he never backs down. He pretty much never goes to ground too soon always makes himself as big as possible, and more often than not, the attacker going after him makes a mistake as a result. So still love Alisson Becker, still without question, Liverpool's number one keeper. So with the Reds in the driver's seat, they have a great opportunity to move into the quarterfinal round of the Champions League. Nothing is given. Julian Nagelsmann, still one of the best managers in Europe. He is being picked, or I should say tipped, Rumor has it to be the next manager uh, of Bayern Munich. So Nagelsmann, I'm sure, will come out with a very strong attacking game plan for the uh, second leg. And Jurgen Klopp has to be delighted with today's win. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And if you've watched for this long, you might as well subscribe to my channel.